What is going on, everybody? We got a rather long video. We're going to make this uh, little intro here quick. Time to pick another batch of giveaway winners. Roll the dice. Two. And uh, we want to give away one of two prizes. Five. Five sounds better. Okay. So here is how it is going to work. We are going to put the five winners down here somewhere. Space throughout the video. If you see your YouTube name pop up somewhere in the video, drop a comment with Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, email, whatever it may be, and uh, we will contact you. We will get your uh, we will get your shipping address and all that good stuff, and we will send you free stuff. So thank you all for your support. We've grown a lot. Got a long way to go, but uh, without any further ado, here is the video. What is going on, everybody? Got a uh, exciting video for you. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing duck calls and standing in front of a bass boat. Me and Benny are uh, going off to a little cast and blast. More casting, but knowing my luck, if I leave the shotgun at home, you will be surrounded, surrounded by geese. 20 minute drive, 10 mile boat ride, and uh, hopefully we're gonna put the beat down on, uh, on some fish and hopefully shoot some birds. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of uh, aerial videography. <laughs> we are out here, land of the salon ship. Boat fired right up. Got about a 10 mile, 10 mile ride oh yonder. And uh, hopefully we're gonna put the beat down on some bass. Typically when we come out here bass fishing, we get a bonus walleye, which I would not complain about. Maybe we'll even tangle in with some nice pike and hopefully shoot a goose. We made it to the back end of the land of the giants. Fishing top water, middle of the day, prime top water bite. What do you got? One right off the bat. What? That's literally the first wall I've ever had on a top water. I totally just lost my train of thought of what I was just saying, but I hope you guys saw that because that was pretty awesome. How did that fish not get hooked? Yeah, it's hard to hook them on top water. When you get that, just let it sit and like hit it like two more times and let it sit again. Was that on top water? Yeah. Benny boy. Oh, there's a couple down there. <sighs> get him, man. Get him, man. Is that a smallie? Yeah. Dude, that's a nice smallie. No! Your line could have broke. It could have been worse. Well, we just had uh, two blow-ups that we did not connect on. It would appear, I was being totally sarcastic when I said midday was the best time to throw top water. But it, uh, it's, it's, being, it's being fairly good to us. On fish activity, not, not necessarily on hookup ratio. I could see how a, a really short, really short baitcaster would be sweet for. T <laughs> I could see how a really short baitcaster would be sweet for top waters. Did you get that on video? Oh yeah. Oh thank God. That was oh, I'm gonna make a platter for Going in. There you go. It's on. No, he wasn't. What the heck? 
my God, there's bass everywhere. So many bass. What is back there? No way, that's a goose. <laughs> oh, yes! It's all right. That's a keeper, too, I bet. Ew. Ew, Ben says. Ew, he's gross. <laughs> I, dis I disagree. <laughs> okay, okay. I heard it's better to drop your rod in the water when you're trying to get fish off. It is. Gunther Garrett taught me that one. Shout out to you, buddy. How much lettuce? Lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. Did you try to eat healthy? <laughs> yeah, I was until I started school again and I just eat out of depression. Pike typically do have teeth. Like big ones. Mallard. Well, let me throw your top water just right into the lettuce. Oh no! How did that fish get off? Topwater game is strong. I can already see the title. Unbelievable, all caps, 17 exclamation. Oh, <laughs> unbelievable topwater bite. Fall topwater bite. I love my hooks get wrapped into the line. That's my favorite. Good thing I left my topwater. Good thing I left my topwater box in the truck. I heard that as well. Keeps you from getting eagle's nest. Uh, not a bad call. Why is this thing sinking? This bait's dicked. She's dicked, Randers. What the heck was that? I cannot keep this thing from wrapping on the hooks. You trolling? Top top water trolling? Yeah. Come back to the chatterbait for a little bit. Good release. That lettuce on my chatterbait. Lettuce. Grassy bass. I heard when throwing rattle traps, the thicker the weeds, the better. Switching gears, go into the Sanko, but I'm not gonna put a Sanker on this time with a Sanko. I'm gonna go weightless, Texas rigged. Cut the line off this real quick. And uh, see, this'll do it. Top water's fun, but 
I don't know where to go with that one. We'll keep you updated. Get them, Ben. Double blow ups, and you're gonna sell them set? All right, guys, we're calling Guinness Book of World Records. Ben has an absolute monster. Put that next to your bait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was that fish thinking? Awesome. Started out with a bang. Rather tapered off, but we're, we're gonna get into them. Get them, Ben, get them. Well, we know there's fish right there. <laughs> Came back to where we started. Benny hooked up like was that that was your first cast back here, wasn't it? On the top water. His favorite fish. That's about a seven pound smallie, right? Well grab him. I'm trying to not lose the rod again. <laughs> Pike are so gross. If you guys can't figure out by now, Ben's not too fond of pike. I actually prefer pike. Well, that's just me. I'll take anything on the top water right now. That was a heck of a blow up though, dude. That was sweet. Got him. Bass? No problem, no. Here you dirty bugger. He's so gross, Ben. Will you take my pike off for me? Just got a twofer on the beautiful, beautiful northern pike. Go for the release. Just a camera so you guys aren't staring at my feet. Oh, he's gone! That's always a good feeling. You gotta spend 20 minutes getting the hook out that they go away right away like that. I am. <sighs> Pike are rather slimy. That's that's gosh darn truth. Title of the video: Unbelievable topwater pike bite. You had you had the line wrapped around his mouth. So hard. How hard did you hit it? So. Am I bleeding? Oh, he got me. He got me a little bit. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nothing better than when you're throwing a spinner bait fresh out of the package. You get like 19 hits on it and you can't figure out why you can't set the hook and it turns out you left the, left the hook guard on. <laughs> Probably my favorite thing to do. Every cast I'm getting. I'm about to take the front trouble off this thing. All it's doing is getting wrapped in the line. Pissing me right off, Ben. Blow up. Did you have a blow up? Can, can you get, oh, sick. I think I dicked her, bud. Oh, we're golden pony boy. Don't mind me. Oh, yeah. I heard the further you throw double trouble hooks into the grass, the better. What are you doing? You getting hooked, setting the hook on grass or bass? <laughs> you don't know. Huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> then he got another one on the top water. Still not the smallymouth bass that we're after. We're going, we're going down in pike quality. At least that one didn't bury the hooks. We don't have scissors. Well, no, take it back. We don't have pliers. We have kindergarten scissors that we've been using as pliers. They're, they're working. Not nearly as good as pliers, but we're making do. We're 100% professional out here. <laughs> How much do you love pike? The fact that he's bending my hooks, not very much. <laughs> oh, it's a bag and get the net. Oh, we don't have one of those, right. <laughs> this one's at least, at least a 40. Oh, he's mean. I literally just get done saying, why won't a pike hit a chatterbait and I catch one? Bigger than yours, Ben. Oh my God, he's choked. Okay, open your mouth there, bub. Some, look at this one too, dude. Somebody popped his gill. That's the second pike I've caught out of here like that. You see that? Youpers don't like pike very much, I'm coming to find out, the majority of them. So they think that you can pop a gill and kill the fish. Don't say that. That's the truth though, dude. You know how many people I've ran into out here that tell me, oh, what are you catching? We're catching a couple of pike. Oh, kill them all. Okay, that'll make the trout come back. <laughs> don't say kill them. Clearly it doesn't work. Any other fish, you get a pop gill, they're done. Pike are some resilient buggers. Water coons. <laughs> Definitely water coons. That was sweet. He smoked it. I thought it was going to be at least a 45. I hear stroking pike, and I left all of my actual pike gear in the truck. Pretty smart move on my part. I take 30 and up. 30 is my PB, which isn't very good, but when you got people killing them, it's pretty tough. Get them, man. We need a shotgun blast hook set. Can I get a hook set? Ben's going with a frog. Ballsy move. Will it pay off? Hopefully. I'm telling you, Ben, all black top toe, dude. I watched my dad catch tons of freaking giant bass on that thing. Oh. <laughs> I would imagine so. There's no way a bass is gonna hit it that close. Move spots. Ben gets a Ben gets a blow up first cast on the top water. Second cast for me on the Texas rigged. Sanko. Lost the Mondo. Bro. Took half of it. <laughs> well, that was a five inch Sanko. Bass? Oh my god, we got a bass. He's not much bigger than the one you got on the top water. Thank you, little buddy. He hit it like he was at least a seven. Let's go, man! This one might have an inch on the other one. Or be a northern. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this chunker of a northern. This one, oh, you're kidding me. Ow. Not only did he shake my worm, he shook off the hook and just buried it in my freaking hand. Ooh, a fresh bag. That's like Christmas morning. Right? Did I not tell you, Ben, you were gonna get one? And he's a hog. 
All right, let me get my phone. I'll call a taxidermist. Oh. <laughs> We're out here targeting the world's smallest smallmouth. Getting serenaded by... I don't know what kind of instrument that is, but is it a trumpet? How do you know? I used to play it in high school. That explains a lot about you, Ben. Hey, I only took gym for a band that really gave me a C and then I dropped it. <laughs> you probably must not have been very good at the trumpet, eh? My teacher told me he was the only person who's ever seen fall asleep in the middle of a song. <laughs> Getting the boat on the trailer. All in all, not a bad day. We went out with the expectation of stroking bass. Ended up stroking mostly, uh, trying to multitask. Stroking mostly pike. Had some insane topwater blowups. Hope the footage turned out all right. But uh, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for all your support and uh, catch you on the water. Hunters for Life, it is our mission to make the great outdoors accessible to anyone and everyone regardless of age, limitation, or disability, one partner at a time. Our great partners include Threads and Ink, Huron Mountain Rod Company, made right here in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, Mud Buddy Motors, based out of Utah, our good friend Nick over at Superior Outfitters, also a dealer for Huron Mountain Rods, Brian McCarter with Nemesis Baits, Pike Dreamers, Custom Pike and Muskie Baits, based out of Chicago, shipped worldwide. And last but not least, our good buddy, Adam Carpenter, host of the one and only Outdoor Show. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. And as always, happy adventures.